Today we are going to create a system backup for Windows 10. This will allow us to recover the system in the event of either a hard disk crash to your system drive, or an error on the system drive that prevents you from booting correctly. This backup will allow your system to be restored without having to reinstall Windows or any of your applications and will also allow things like the contents of your videos, photos and documents folders to be recovered as well. Okay, let's get underway. For some reason, Microsoft appears to do its best to hide the system backup utility, but we will track it down and perform a system backup for my C drive which happens to be the main system drive on my machine. Step 1 is to open the system settings page. Step 2 is to click on the update and security option. For step 3, we click on the backup option. Step 4 is to click on the link to go to the Windows 7 backup and restore. This brings up the Windows 7 Backup and Restore menu. Step 5 is to select, Create a System Image. For Step 6, you select the destination drive for your image. Note that it must be an NTFS volume. It can be an internal disk, external USB drive, a network drive, or an option to save to one or more Blu-ray or DVD disks. In Step 7, you select the drive volumes to be included in the backup. You can back up your entire machine if you wish. For now we are just backing up the system and the C drive it resides on. As the backup is compressed, it will normally consume roughly 50% of the size of the uncompressed volume. This will vary depending on the nature of the files being backed up of course. In step 8, you can now click to start your backup. It will normally take tens of minutes for a normal single drive backup, but could take a lot more if backing up multiple drives. Once the backup is complete, Step 9 allows you to create a system repair disk. You will need this if you do not have the original Windows Media, in order to boot the machine in the event of a catastrophic failure that can't even boot into the diagnostic tools. You can create this on either a physical DVD or a USB drive. Note that the media used is reformatted so any existing files will be lost. With that we're all done. The system backup is restored from within the Windows Recovery Tools under the Advanced Options. Select the System Image Recovery option, and select the latest image you have saved that is still available to you. Windows will then recreate the system drive image you had at the time of making the backup. You should be back to full operation again once this completes, without needing to reinstall anything. If haven't done it already, why don't you create your backup image right now, and save yourself a world of hurt? Thanks for watching today. Hit a like on the video if you found it of use, and please hit the subscribe button and notification bell to receive notice of more videos like this.